innocence of the 50s was over, and so was rock and roll as we knew it. We were entering a new age, an age of confusion, an age of passion, of commitment. Eddie Wilson saw it coming. Thanks, Ellen. You were completely right. Eddie Wilson was a musician before his time. He saw the winds of change blowing long before us mere mortals. Not unlike Eddie Wilson was the film Eddie and the Cruisers, a film that was also before its time, a film that was met with indifference when it was released. In today's video, we meet the actors that brought the film to life as we update them for you in 2023 and chat a bit more about my thoughts on the film. Imagine this, it's 1983 and a movie about rock and roll bursts onto the scene, only to fail at the box office. Little did the world know at the time that this film held the secret that would propel it to cult classic status in the years that followed. But why did a film with killer rock and roll tunes struggle to find its audience? Was it the innovative non-linear storytelling that took audiences by surprise? The director used flashbacks to the band's early life in the 1960s, along with present-day interviews, which at the time were 20 years later, by a journalist seeking answers to what happened to Eddie and the lost tapes. This narrative technique added depth and intrigue to the movie, but perhaps it was just too ahead of its time in the early 80s. Secondly, I would have to add that Eddie and the Cruisers fearlessly explored themes that pushed the boundaries of its era. It shone a spotlight on the dark underbelly of the music industry, a constant battle between artistic integrity and commercial success, and the sacrifices artists make in their passionate pursuits. This thought-provoking and introspective approach was far from the mainstream films of its time, making it a true trailblazer. The soundtrack to the film, which is spectacular by the way and brilliantly performed by John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Band, actually outshone the film when it was released. However, this wasn't the only thing that captivated some of us. It was the undying belief in oneself, the refusal to succumb to the shadows of doubt and the unyielding pursuit of artistic truth. Eddie's struggle against the tide of conformity becomes a rallying cry for those who dare to challenge the status quo and forge their own destinies. I believe this to be the third reason the film failed. People just didn't expect the depth the film offered up, or just didn't understand the underlying message. In the depths of darkness and tragedy, Eddie and the Cruisers painted a poignant picture of the fragile nature of artistic brilliance. It reminded us that true genius often dances on the razor's edge, teetering between triumph and tragedy, leaving an unforgettable mark on our hearts long after the final notes fade away. So friends, let the allure of Eddie and the Cruisers envelop you, allow its melodies to transport you to a world where dreams take flight and where the power of music resonates with every beat of your heart. Let it ignite the fire within you, urging you to embrace your own creative spirit and unlock the boundless potential that lies dormant within. May the legacy of Eddie Wilson and the Cruisers live on, reminding us to never surrender our dreams, to defy the odds, and to always believe in the magic that resides within us all. Thanks for listening, friends. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the film in the comments, and more importantly, if it struck the same chord with you as it did with me. Till next time, rock and rollers. See you then. Can I help you guys? Yeah. Called Tony, Eddie and the Cruisers are here.